Next, we'll review the simple entry typewriter letters method. Let's continue on in Measure 3 of the Cello staff. Click on the Simple Entry tool. The purple cursor with the line must be showing at the beginning of Measure 3 before you can enter notes. If it is not showing, control click in the measure on Windows, option click on Mac to place it there. When using the Simple Entry Typewriter method to enter notes, one hand will be changing note duration numbers, and the other hand will be pressing the typewriter letter keys to enter pitches. Press number 5 for quarter duration. The purple cursor shows the duration you selected. Press letter G on your typewriter to enter the note in measure 3. If the G enters in the wrong octave, press delete or undo your last command by pressing Ctrl Z on Windows. That's Command Z on Mac. Then, to set the cursor up closer to the correct octave region, press Shift plus the up or down arrow key. Press letter G again to enter it in the correct octave. You can also arrow back to highlight an existing note and press Shift plus the up or down arrow to change the octave. To fill a measure with rests, press the right arrow key once or twice if needed to advance the cursor to the next measure. Since the quarter value is still selected, press letter G again to enter it in measure 4, followed by the right arrow key to fill the measure with rests. If you choose this note entry method, finish entering all of the notes in the cello staff, changing the duration numbers as needed, and pressing letter keys to enter the pitches. Remember, you can use these shortcuts if needed. 0 to enter a rest, the period key to add a dot to a note, T to add a tie, and R to change a note to a rest. Save your work by clicking on the File menu, Save.